In today's episode, let's read something from Incense Magic, a book by Carl F. Neal. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense quotient. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. So before we go ahead, you might just want to treat this episode as a podcast and continue doing whatever you're doing at the moment and just enjoy this podcast in the background. Or you might just want to relax with your favorite snack and beverage. So we have uh, this chapter in chapter 1, page number 9, and it talks about cultural adaptations of incense. So let's read this. It says, The original users of incense are lost in the mists of time. But it is safe to assume that ancient humans knew about the power and joy of incense. Excavations of ancient settlements of many cultures show evidence of incense burning, including some incredible censors. The use of incense likely dates back to shortly after humans learned to make fire, from the most practical to the most sacred of applications. Incense has long been a tool for mankind. Cultural Adaptations of Incense There have been a wide variety of uses for incense in different places and different times, but they fit into four basic categories. The needs, both sociological and psychological, of cultures along with the materials available to them often determine what form of incense was used and the purposes behind it. Incense technology in different cultures also influences that society's incense use. Fumigation This possibly the oldest use of incense. At various points in history, unpleasant smells have been associated with evil spirits disease and other maladies. Beyond that are the unpleasant odors in civilizations that don't embrace or enjoy sanitation technology. Imagine a city where the time between bathing was measured in months or a society that believed bathing was unhealthy. Then imagine having a large meeting of the people in a small area. The smells of body odor combined with living more closely with animals and a lack of sewers would make for abundant foul odors. Incense was an early form of fumigation. Large bundles of herbs could be used as extra-large smudge bundles. Undesired smells and thus the ills associated with them could be swept away in a cloud of incense. While you can protect the air going into your nose with a scented handkerchief, burning incense can banish undesired smells from an entire room. It is easy to imagine using incense for this purpose at religious ceremonies and other large gatherings. Aromatics were used in a variety of ways to eliminate foul odors, which were often associated with illness. Herbs were strewn on floors, dried herb bundles were hung in homes, and aromatics were burnt. The idea that bad smells are a source of illness remains popular today in parts of Europe. Fire was also a moderately effective way to destroy or at least relocate insects. Few insects would tolerate any kind of smoke and some herbs such as pennyroyal are particularly suited to that role. Sacrifice. In some cultures today, animal sacrifice is a part of society. Such practices were even more widespread in the ancient world. For those who made burnt animal offerings, the benefits of incense were very practical. Many ancient cultures added fragrant materials to their sacrificial fires to help with an often overwhelming smell of burnt flesh. Keep in mind that burning animal sacrifices is not like grilling meat in your backyard. Hot fires and 
whole animals make for an overwhelming stench incense itself can also be a sacrifice procurement of aromatic materials and then simply burning them to ashes is a gift in its own right the combination of the initial sacrifice with the addition of incense increases the level of sacrifice and the power of the offering this eventually led to the burning of incense alone which is arguably a more pleasant offer to make cleansing or purifying much as with fumigation magical cleansing is intended to drive away undesired energies smoke penetrates even the tiniest openings and can displace the undesired energies that reside within many rituals implements are purified in fragrant smoke before being used this process can also energize tools or be used to cleanse spaces Many traditions instruct followers to cleanse ritual spaces before a magical invocation and incense is a favored tool for the job. The smoke of incense has also long been associated with speaking to the greater power of the universe. This could be in the form of a prayer, an incantation or even a wish. Smoke is believed to carry our words back into the universe, much like a magic candle. Incense can be magically aligned to your intentions and lit and then your intentions will continue to flow into the universe until the incense is exhausted. In Asia, some Buddhist temples sell massive incense coils that are hoisted with ropes, lit with a blow torch and burned for an entire month. For every second the coil is burning, the prayer offered for the benefactor who purchased the coil continues to flow out into the ether divination divination is the art of seeing the unseen and catching a glimpse of what could be while tarot is often one of the most popular forms of divination in modern paganry incense divination is as ancient as any other incense use incan priests used incense mixed with their own blood to seek divine guidance taking precious materials including your own blood and sacrificing them by burning brought forth smoke that would dance and reveal what should be done pleasure at some point the pure pleasure of incense became a motivation to use it ours is not the first culture to understand the joy of incense purely for itself considering the quantity of frankincense consumed in ancient rome it is easy to imagine ancient aficionados showing off their latest incense purchase to their friends in fact the use of incense in some societies was also a demonstration of wealth so this is what we had to read today it was from page 9 and uh, read about we read, we read about cultural adaptations of incense so that's what uh, we had to read today from incense magic a book by carl f neil neil and so you, i hope you enjoyed today's episode and you learned something from it check out the description box for the link of this book and in case you want me to read more from this book or if you want me to review this book in detail just let me know and till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste